Good evening all, hope you're well. Dapper here. And uh, tonight we're going to play some cyberpunk bartender action. This is uh, Valhalla, so it's probably going to have a lot of me uh, reading out the character voices and things while we uh, serve them drinks. Should be fun. I'm going to crack open a new game, I think. I didn't get very far the last time I played through it, so... Should be fine. So, Anna. Psst. Hey, over here. Oh, yes, the lady in the telly. Boo! Oh, back to luchadors. <laughs> How's that for an entrance? <laughs> Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting. And the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And, I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused, and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. <laughs> In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. Okay. See ya. Why am I talking? I'm not talking. <laughs> yeah. Jill woke up. There's something near the door. Primera. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Today's the 13th. Make sure your account has at least 800 bucks by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the Augmented Eye. Why does everything have such a weird name? So who is that letter from? That's the cat. Nobody. Okay. Okay. So we add apps. We have no money. Hence, we need to go to work. Evening. <laughs> hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? Gil? Oh, Jillian. When you let people call you Jules. <laughs> Quiet. You okay? You look distracted. Where's the boss? Don't know, she went out to buy some stuff and. Did you hear what I just told you? Oh, uh, yeah. You said something? Oh hey, uh, that's that's actually my alert. Thank you for the host, Magpie San. I appreciate it. That you look distracted, very very distracted. So do you when you do that face. <laughs> Something I'm just thinking about stuff like being broke, incredibly broke. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the thirtieth. So rent on the thirtieth, app by the seventeenth, which is always stressful. And ah. There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Hmm? Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. Damn. Well, at least it's not papers, please. So not only is my life being shaken up, I am apparently going crazy. Yeah, ride the pony. On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. Wow. You spent the last bit of your wallet... Chopping off your cat's knackers. Good call. And there are all the beer cans around my apartment, and... Oh, she's getting distracted again. Uh, sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? I have to. <laughs> Clearly, because I am broke. Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. Hey, tutorial level. Let's do it. I don't know. Hmm, jukebox. Make a piano man. I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second. Start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book. It will show up on the top left. Sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Okay. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Yep. Remember that. When done, press the mix button to stop it mixing. The serve button or the drink itself to serve and that'll be all. Okey but if the drink looks messed up, you need to press the reset button and try again. You, you can press reset at any time, even while the shaker's moving, don't be afraid to use it. I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. <laughs> then there should be no problem. 
<laughs> what a Kafka trap. Kill wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press the reset button and try again. Okay. Uh, by name. S. Sugar rush. 2. Edelhide. 1. Powder delta. With optional. Karma tree. Mixed. And that's, you stop it before it gets really uh, shaky. That was it. So then, so. Here we go. Let's do one more. <laughs> I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. It's all about the humor. Some drinks need to be blended. Thank you for the heart, Rose Red Gale. Appreciate it. <laughs> this is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. Yep, I remember this bit. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. That's ice age. Check ice and age buttons on the side to select the one you need. In case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. Well, yes. Should be noticed that the station will add the ice after mixing. Which makes no sense, because then you're not diluting the drink, but okay. It's not something you should mind, though, just a fun fact. <laughs> Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. You sound like the customers. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, yeah. Moon blast. Blended drinks. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. By name, M. Moon blast. Six Edelhide. Do you have to drag it every time? You can't just click. Three, four, five, six. One powder delta, one flanner guide, and two Karmatrine. How is this sweet, girly, and happy? Right, so all on the rocks and blend. Oh, so you have to click ice first. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. There you go, there's the blend. Stop, success, serve it. Did I amuse you for long enough? You did. Sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Big! Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Give him one. Doesn't count towards making a big drink. Alright. <laughs> Which is the alcoholic factor in a drink. Doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. Making people drunk. The client will get drunk faster. Please be mindful of that. <laughs> Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yes. Hey guys, Donna, I'm guessing this is the boss? Yep. Oh, but... Eh? Who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Did you, you went shopping for a lady? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in. Oh, right, she's knocked out. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. Charming. <laughs> you can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There are two of you, believe in yourselves. <sighs> Do you think Chief knocked her out? <laughs> no, it's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. It's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Okay, she sounds like a badass then. Huh? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> With a reputation. Well, just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Always helpful. Okay then, time to start the night. How long have we been gas bagging? Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Come again. While you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing god knows what, we've had some interesting clients coming. That's the corgis then, I'm guessing. Dogs. Lots of them. <laughs> You're joking. Jill, you've known me for how long? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well, so, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Because, yeah, there's no minigame for cleaning the bathrooms, I'm guessing. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Yeah. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. <laughs> that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 songs filled with songs before it can start. What was the logic behind that decision? Question mark. That's not even a random. Commencing simulation. A gaze that invited... Drive me wild. Oh, it's ones I haven't unlocked. <laughs> All systems go. Everything will be okay. <laughs> Nighttime maneuvers. 
Snowfall? March of the White Knights. <laughs> Where do I go from here? Will you remember me? Everything will be okay. Who was I? There we go. Mixed drinks and change lives. And I'm all out of lives. Oh, this is the guy that's like um, J. Jonah Jameson, but from the future. Hey, you! Get me a beer! Oh, sure. Right on it. Beer. That was quite the big guy, though. B. Beer. One eight or hide. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. They're already a big drink. One pop denta, two flanaguide, four carmatrine. All mixed. Wait, hang on. Oh yeah, yeah, mixed, not blended. That's fine. Two, three, four. Hey, I made beer. Classic. <laughs> Here you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Oh, I thought it was big. All right, double up on the beer. So we got two. Ain't no hide. Four Bronson, two Powder Delta, two Flanaguide, and eight Carmatrine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mixed. Two, three, four. Oh, that ain't right. Let's try again. Right, Carmatrine doesn't apply. So if I do... Oh, did I not do enough Flanaguide? That might have been it. There we go, big beer. Ah yes, now this one's fit for a man like me. Right. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Big shot, eh? Well, to be fair, work is taking me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey the third. Or is that New Jersey three? I don't know. What kind of work do you do, Mr. You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson. Okay, so definitely James Jonah Jameson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. <laughs> Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. Rose, you're being chatted to in my chat. <laughs> it's alright. If you're still busy killing people, that's fine. <laughs> so you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? Right, so urban legend hacker means we're definitely meeting them in future. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. Clicks bring money. Money brings nice stuff. Like the beer. <laughs> stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Her kids. Not yours, I'm guessing. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running to at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. Poor bastards think it'll help them make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. Second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Yeah, you just tune those out, I'm guessing. Well, I always filter out that section. Yep, there it is. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. <laughs> I have enough pressure and problems as is, I don't need to add glitch to these lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. So, I'm sure he doesn't work for the Oregonian. Still, maybe my job will be easier. How so? People get desensitized. People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, I only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now, you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. 
Lovely. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about. You can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. And that brings money. Like I said, money's good. <laughs> huh. yeah, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, they, yo, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> they might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. Worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... Mm, no, wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columns to see your page are annoying. See? Kid on the restaurant critique column. Uh, uh, shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's, uh... Yeah, that kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, this column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. Wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. Do you remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks, saying he was a critic or whatever? You look like a fat child with a really small face. Mm, no? That <laughs> no, wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Right, that's another big beer. Come cheaper in bulk at the store. <laughs> right, what was it? Two. Four. Two powder delta. Four flanner guide. And eight carmatrine. Five, six, seven, eight. Go! Two, three, four, that'll do. There we go, one big beer. Whoops, tapped out. There we go. Oh. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. <laughs> right, so this guy just likes big stuff. What about big troubles? Did I stutter? I'm just gonna pour a drink. Right. <laughs> so tell me, you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. That's my job. <laughs> the place smells like soap and dog piss, so I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I don't think hell is supposed to smell like soap and dog piss. But he may have a point. <laughs> I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. <laughs> What's that? Uh, nobody important. <laughs> Hey, I heard that. I'll be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. Think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. Maybe you're a her hellish hole. <laughs> Reset the thing. There we go. Charming. <laughs> so, celebrities? Not really. At least, not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. You've got two big beers, shut your face. Second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from Greece. Yeah, yeah Mrs. Spears was here just the other afternoon. Pretend to love fall from Greece? What do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs. What they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. No, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys and nobody wants to admit to enjoying. <laughs> no, you thought wrong. And even if you're right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. I want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. Do you mean lives? <laughs> what do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? 
Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but so. No, oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. So like hairdressers. That sounds hypocritical coming from you. <laughs> uh, even if that is the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. Now, this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves a public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Uh, I can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. <laughs> yes, Magpie, I did make you a mod. It seemed only fair since I'm a mod for you. <laughs> you like your big words, eh, brat? Well, that I do, yeah. <laughs> well, two could play that game of... big words. <laughs> hmm? uh. Hey, you're a bartender, right? Uh, no, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. I'm, I'm just pulling the hairs of this woman you're talking to. <laughs> Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. You're a customer. <laughs> anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Uh, talk about changing topics. It's because he couldn't think of any big words. <laughs> Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they'd sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Uh, figures. Uh, anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. <laughs> yeah, okay, you just said you didn't earlier. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. <laughs> well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. <laughs> uh, sure. You want another drink, Mr. Donovan? <laughs> Thank you for the tweet. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Like the sound of that. <laughs> yep, called it. <laughs> Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. <laughs> Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson. Or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal. Cold. It is? <laughs> we call Donna Boss, don't we? So, Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, that's more like it. They're referring to me! To the man in front of them. Not to my family. Not of my position as boss to me. <laughs> Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? No gods, no. I want them to fear me. Not because I'm the boss or the name appearing in their paychecks. Rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Yeah, this man has some strange priorities. Starting to roar, I'm going to make everyone call me that. <laughs> oh yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Uh, drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, yes, yes. I need to cut myself off. I just remembered I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. Okay, I can do that. So, by flavor, bitter drinks. Uh, gut punch sounds like it'd work. Bitter, manly, optional karma drink. Perfect. And he wants it big as well. So, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And two flanagide. Aged and mixed. One, two, three, four, four. One big punch in the gut. Baby blue and call me Sue, you can actually do it. Hello, Amalithana. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Hope you enjoy the stream. This will help me stay up late tonight. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? You didn't call it a hellhole. <laughs> That's the first thing you think of. Uh, there was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Am I... Am I... Am I... Am I living now? Isn't that it? <laughs> I'm gonna have to move my chat because now I'm using 3T instead of V Magic Mirror. My head actually goes all over the place. <laughs> Let me just pop this here. That should wait for there. So if I just look at oh god, I, I need to reset my face. One sec. Hello webcam. How are you today? There we go. <laughs> Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. <laughs> no no ties, I guess. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> Great. Double I, no L's. <laughs> oh, hey Kane. <laughs> Can I just call you Kane? <laughs> or Yusa Chan, as uh as Virtue calls you. <laughs> Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in my company. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't like being called Yusa Chan. <laughs> That's why Virtue calls you it. <laughs> well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? Uh, you still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. Those losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal who says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Ugh. Recently, they told me I needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for him. Well, you know what? They want more clicks, I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Uh, should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. I never did hear from him again. Yeah! Yep, yeah, found a rather large corgi turd, I'm guessing. What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. <laughs> Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. <laughs> there's, there's some projectiles involved here. The ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the fence! <laughs> Shh, you'll wake up Brea Rose over there. I won't forget this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A man driven mad by dog shit. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Big gut punch. First. Oh, well, I've already made one then. Gut punch. I'll give him a gut punch. <laughs> G. Gut punch. Ten Bronson extract. Two Flanaglide. I'm guessing he wants this rather... Carmatrini. Let's bring him up to 15. Age. One, two, three. Nice. Here you go, moderately boozy. Huh. You can actually do it then. What? what? <laughs> yes, I can do my job. Thank you. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Uh, last I checked, yes. You were just served an alcoholic beverage, were you not? Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? We don't. Comfortable people don't uh, 
drink fast enough. <laughs> I'm surprised you decided to come to a little crack house at all, mister. The hell you care. Man, this guy's had a hard day. Uh, the payment registry says... <laughs> Sorry for the question, then. Mr. Ingram McDougall? Oh, shall I make him a bit Irish? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. Wait, that's that's been sat there for, like, at least three a day to two. Ugh. <laughs> but it's Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple hours? Ugh. <laughs> no. <laughs> they have no use for you beyond give me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar, then? Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. <laughs> she says she's a regular here, and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular. Can I ask who? No. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Hey. Oh, thank you. I do pride myself on voices of some description. So <laughs> just, just don't expect me to do all the ladies' voices. <laughs> Case in point. Hey, Jill. Where'd you put the dish soap? Jill's run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Do the Mexican. <laughs> yes, very funny. <laughs> uh, it's for Andy. Oh, okay, yeah, you remember do the Mexican as well. Well, if a guy shows up with a sombrero, I will do the Mexican. <laughs> That's not fair. You can't do, like, IRL in-jokes <laughs> while I'm streaming. <laughs> right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. I see no rules against it. I will put them in the chat as soon as I make affiliate. <laughs> so, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? Uh, no. Nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. Because uh, he, he knows Dana, I'm guessing. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. <laughs> Andale. <laughs> See, Speedy Gonzalez knows all our sisters. You know my boss. I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zin, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. <laughs> As yeah, <laughs> welcome to this part of my <laughs> of my life, Kane. <laughs> This is me, it's a Mexican carpet fitter who's also so yes. <laughs> That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds uh Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've you've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though, I've only seen her deal with clients personally about mm, two or three times. <laughs> One involved class 5 weaponry, the other a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Uh, not really an alpaca, but you know, there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming that she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's uh, leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Ah, give me a pale driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard today. Alright, coming right up. Uh, <laughs> I like all these little flavour things, that's really cool. Uh, pile driver. P. Last one he wanted big. Well, this is 10, but that doesn't apply, so... Three, wait, hang on. Now that he's he's wanting to keep his mouth shut, so I should probably actually keep it smaller. Nah, hell with it. Six, six planner guide. Four, five, six. So eight carmatrine. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Mixed. Two, three, four, pop. There you go. Hmm. This is fine, I guess. Oh, should I have just made a small one? Fine. You lady, you ever faked an orgasm? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you build up to that, man. What are you doing? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you very faked an orgasm. Just straight in there. Yeah, that's what I like about Vespa. It could be mix the drinks, the minigame. Yeah, this is, like, absolutely what I came here for. <laughs> I think you recommended me a um, the other one. What was it? Uh, Coffee Time? I haven't played that, but once I finish this, I will probably play that. Either that or Papers, Please. And I also have Beat Cop, because uh, Plip recommended me Beat Cop as a sort of a spiritual sister to Papers, Please. So I've got a lot of these pixely games to get through. <laughs> that is a question I'm not going to answer. Oh, in fact, I have a bunch of other bartender ones as well that um, Rose recommended me. Like, um, I think it was like Tavern Simulator and uh, but the Barbarous Tavern of Emir. So, yeah, I have quite the backlog. Hope you enjoy them when you get around to them. Thank you. I'm sure I will. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> I mean, why would you just come out and say, no, I've never faked one either? That's just... <laughs> I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. Uh, here we go. Waxing philosophical. Just ask straight after asking if someone has faked an orgasm. <laughs> I mean, even the more sincere people lay once in a while. What what did you what did you lie about? <laughs> Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. <laughs> Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. <laughs> I say lies are like your porn stash. Stash? Stash. <laughs> you know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> uh, still, that's quite the random thought to su just suddenly have. Uh, and to suddenly vocalize as well. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? <laughs> Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <laughs> of course you will. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Ready? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. He's just going down the list, clearly. To be fair, that's what I would do. What? <laughs> that is, it's like drinking acylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Yeah, from the recipe, that's literally... <laughs> Three... Aged and mixed. Two, three, four. There you go. So that's like um, <laughs> like a full glass of Everclear with a hint of creme de cassis for flavour. <laughs> Try not to drink it too fast. Have a drink yourself. <laughs> that's up to me. Hey lady. Have you ever felt empty? I've got two grand in the hole so far, so I think we're doing alright. Empty how? Like, hungry? <laughs> no, I mean, empty like there's a part of you missing. I mean, you, you literally have like a line where your head was supposedly severed or screwed back on, so... <laughs> Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. What, a filter? <laughs> An urge to get her do something that I just can't satisfy. Right, he's an incel. Okay. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, one you get paid for. <laughs> well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. What? Getting drunk at a bar. Which is? Which is an alcohol. Well, I was half right. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of SCDs, so I left midway through. That's, uh, well, hopefully you've found all empty chambers, my guy. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. 
porn is more amusing than way cheaper. Well, yes. <laughs> I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Um, wait, he went from... Well, I don't want to think about that. Have you tried rescuing a puppy? <laughs> Jill, you're not good. You, this man does need a hug from his mother, yes. Well, I mean, looking at this, his mother might be like a robotic arm on a conveyor belt. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think we're going to save this man. We're not getting him on a wholesome road. <laughs> ah, you can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. Yeah. I'm I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. Uh, yeah, he gone. <laughs> man, it man is too far down the rabbit hole, or ra down the something hole. Anyway, I wasn't expecting you to help me, or to believe me. Well, what were you lying about? D the stuff you've admitted here. That... <laughs> eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. Why would you lie about that? That's. <laughs> People lie. People like lie for like impressive things. <laughs> people lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Yeah, I don't count on it. Oh. Phew, boss. I'm gonna take my break. All right. Yep. So see that. <laughs> Oh, we save. I'm going to save over this one. And then... It's now safe to keep playing. <laughs> Decidedly ominous, that. <laughs> At least I didn't get locked up this time. Add songs by clicking titles on the left. Yeah, remove them by right-clicking the title. Swap two songs by clicking on both. Yep. <laughs> Man's gone. <laughs> I actually have no idea how to unlock these. With renewed hope, we... Dusk. We follow the trail out of orbit. An alternate reality. Tense. Oh, it's a reprise. I thought someone was sending an email. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do. Mix it up a bit. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Are you a robot? Good evening. Uh, um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, battle, battle droid? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable I usually forget I have it on. <laughs> oh, okay. No, lady boys. Is this better? Uh, yeah, thank you. What can I get you, Miss? Master Specialist Say P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Uh, wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Uh, let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, uh, but not sweet as in cool. <laughs> Matron. <laughs> you, you see blue hair and you just go off, eh? Well, a cool drink would be nice too, um, but not cool as in great and especially not as in big. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, what, a warm drink? Do you want a, an Irish coffee? Jesus. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Right, okay. So, sweet drink, not alcoholic, not big. Sorry, did you get that? Pip, pip, what, what? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Right. Small, sweet, and icy. Alright, uh, flavor, sweet drinks. On ice. Um, nope. Sparkle Star. Aged, nope. Blue Fairy. Aged, nope. Sweet. Moonblast. On the rocks, here we go. Six, seven. That's ten, though. Hang on. Sweet. Brantini, nope. Sweet. Piano Woman. Okay. Hmm. Here 
you get to new game plus by the other music. Oh, right. That's fine. A fedora. Oh, right. With a perfume and a plum. Served in a man's hat. It's on the rocks. Sweet, though. Sweet promo, yeah, it's too big. Guess it'll have to be this one, really. What if I hold back the karma tree? Fine. Does that break it? Because it's well, it's not it's not optional, is it? So we'll see. I'll shove this, I think. Moonblast. Here you are. Ah, yes, this is just what I need. Thanks. Perfect. We get a tip. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one of them, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no. Uh, you're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps, the ones with huge plated suits, right? Uh, yeah, those. <laughs> no, we're different people. I mean, obviously we are different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with the aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. Does that mean like you <laughs> you you, rate, you heal them or you uh, put them out of their misery? We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. E D F. We watch. We protect. Um, what was that? Oh, sorry, it's sort of our Pledge of Allegiance. We recite it every morning. Uh, what it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from... stuff. Giant insects. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. Uh, you mentioned heal. Are you a doctor, then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at the doctor. Right, you're the human equivalent of a uh, puncture repair kit. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of. It's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. <laughs> uh, the rapist, presumably. Uh, you must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one. Let's... Oh. <laughs> I, I should probably put that on Do Not Disturb. Thank you for the retweet, Fizzy. There we go. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Uh, good night, Magpie. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good evening. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was all almost dreamlike. Uh, that's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? Uh, yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I mishear you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you didn't mishear. Because I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Uh, don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Something classy. Classy drink. Can you be more specific? Uh, don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. Classy drink. Let's see what I can find for you. Classy. Tight. So. Classic. Classy. Brantini. Six, so that's a ten. Eight out of ten smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. Okay. I mean, sweet and happy seems like. Sour, classy, vintage. Four, five, six, that's ten. Wait, let's look at price, actually. Can we do it by price? That was two fifty. Two fifty. Two eighty. Bubbly, classy, burning. Okay. 
260. She probably wouldn't like that one anyway. And 250. Right. So we'll go with the most expensive drink. <laughs> Five Karma Tree. Oh, she likes it icy though. Let's see how it goes down. <laughs> Two. Three Planner Guide. Five Karma Tree. And mixed. go. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Ooh. Oh, she's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? Uh, I was expecting something stronger. This had five Karmatrine in it. <laughs> I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name, now I want to know yours. I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks, Kane. Appreciate it. <laughs> Call me a poncy accent. It's only slightly more hoity-toity than my own. <laughs> <laughs> you know my name now. I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. <laughs> not the guy cleaning the toilet. Jillian Ju Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on it. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, John. I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That, yeah, that actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? <laughs> we got a compliment, and now we're probing her about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, you shouldn't have done that. The smell of dog urine in soap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My mum used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Yeah, we're all about that. <clears throat> What made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? <laughs> well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because it's something that happened while I was a kid. They really do open up to you when you serve them drinks, don't they? A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. You really could have taken that one of two ways, couldn't you? I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then I felt like this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Uh, it's interesting though, one would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. <laughs> well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Uh, yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. Going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. <laughs> now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault, there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? It's slightly off. There's quite a bit of affectation you gave to Sal. It, <laughs> my natural accent just sounds suave. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, they get assigned to come. Oh. Refresh. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, dude. Oh, oh, you have two eyes. I kept reading that as an L on my uh, <laughs> on my phone. That's what that was. <laughs> Hence the mispronunciations. I just reset my face. There we go. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But if you are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals, <coughs> let's change the topic as soon as possible. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting. And there was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. School police. They were doing a nice job, but the the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. Hmm, that'd be nice, I think. 
<laughs> the fully suit of armor plated guy just showing up to your school like, yeah, I'm doing this on me off days. <laughs> Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. Besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yep, I'm going to stop here today. Thanks for the chat, Jill. Sure, no problem. Bye. Come again. Will do. Nice. Wait, you forgot your helmet. She's gone. Okay. Kaboom. Jill, did the ammonia, ammonia make you go nuts? There was this time in Zanzibar when that almost happened. In any case, I'll go check that noise. Uh, what? Oh, it's the, uh, yeah, lady. Oh, she woke up. <laughs> she just took an explosion. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. Yeah, that's not a good thing to say to someone who's just been unconscious. <laughs> that might have not been the best thing to say. <laughs> I, are you a Viking? <laughs> That's the thing, I've played the first few levels, but I don't think I remembered that. <laughs> D does that mean Uncle Ingus's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. <laughs> To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Hmm. Okay. Then where the hell am I? How did I get here? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Jesus, okay. Chill. Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? <laughs> Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just explode. You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The lot of you! <laughs> you wanna tear my clothes? Okay, like... Alright. She definitely needs a drink. <laughs> Almost... Oh, I'm not reading that. <laughs> your Karen-type screechy but <laughs> It's not my natural voice. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> the animation <laughs> interrupts me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down or to throw at her face. Think carefully. Right. Type. Flavor. Hmm. Frothy water. <laughs> Hmm, none of the things say the one you're putting it yeah. <laughs> Soft, perhaps? Fluffy dream. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety, more of them, and you'll be sleeping soundly. Well, that seems uh, appropriate. Let's make a big one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of this. All right. And maybe a little kick, I guess. We'll put two in. Aged and mixed. Four. Oh, there you go. Lucky dream. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serve drinks. <laughs> bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. Good thing I just gave her a cheap one. To calm down? What did you spice it up with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? Pumpkins? <laughs> God no, I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If, if I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired, lose benefits, or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... 
What? Oh, is that... Just... Is that what she's doing? Even if you say that... She thinks she gave her a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> yes, well, if you're in a dystopian future where this is the stuff that you make cocktails out of, then I think a pumpkin spice latte might be some kind of devious <laughs> date rape drug. <laughs> Let's do something. That's not a good thing to say. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. <laughs> Asked to speak to the manager. <laughs> Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street? Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about... Oh my god! Was her shuddering at the thought of going through it. Yeah. <laughs> Just... <bleh. laughs> How? What? How? <laughs> I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Because Dana Zane. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. Well, there you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. <laughs> okay. Conspiracy theorist. Nutter. <laughs> Repressed. Look. Like <laughs> Fetishes. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain, sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. The Dixie chicken. <laughs> she, she, yeah, totally, a goddamn Karen. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, I'm not making you drink this, I offered to you it as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right, it is indeed suspicious on my part, so, sorry. I'll just chuck this down the drain, so. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door, forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Except the drink. Put my heart and soul into that drink, damn it. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? <laughs> I'm definitely writing an article about this. Eh. What about the drink? You let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? Yeah, too right. I'm on her side now. <laughs> uh, no, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant that your work does matter. Um, I'm not sure you should drink it at all so fast. <laughs> She's going to sell all the other soccer mums. Yeah, yeah, this, this is definitely going... <laughs> getting circulated at a book club or something. So, how was it? <laughs> It was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Are you alright? <laughs> yeah. I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. Um, well, that's a lie. <laughs> I should apologise for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I, I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity and or organs. Straight straight back to... yeah, the white... Stop fantasizing about that, you weirdo. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, I can tell you're sick. <laughs> of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house, right? Make her the cheap ones. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Yeah, sick in the head. <laughs> also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Oh great, now she's requesting them. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I don't want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. Welcome back, Jill. Name, piano man. You don't see women asking for a piano man every day. <laughs> Be sexist to order a to make her a piano woman. Say no, this is what you meant. Five powder delta. Five flanagide. Three carmatrine. On the rocks and mixed. 
This drink does not represent the opinions of the Bar Pianists Union or its associates. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. Knowing this game, there's probably some specific thing she screams about if you do make it as a piano woman instead. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that on the New Game Plus playthrough. <laughs> what did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Slam the uh, thing shot on his fingers. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. Cool. Well, knowing you, you, you probably said it was offensive and the pianist actually wanted to tear his organs out. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds, and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. <laughs> what did your dad do for a living? Yeah, he's a music critic. <laughs> I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that, does that to you. What kind of jazz are they listening to? I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honour of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavours said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. <laughs> Where do you work, Miss... Uh, call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Oh... You work for Mr. Dawson, don't you? Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called the Orbit? Called it! <laughs> Jazz does that to you. Yeah. I guess, like, the, the New Age fusion Jazz. Ones that are just, like, changing time signature every four seconds. <laughs> ah, I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. <gasps> I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. Bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. Oh, so you believe me? I do. See? The, all the stuff about lies earlier, I guess. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horseblower. <coughs> Harsh words. The, the worst part is I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he puts <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have it done before they realise what's going on. Can we keep your fantasies out of this conversation, please? You even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. Full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it, that guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. Make it till you make it, I guess. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time I hate his guts! <laughs> Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ah! <laughs> Why are you working there then? Oh, you're not even working, you're an intern. <laughs> uh, did I ask something I shouldn't have? Uh, no, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it now. Fair enough. <laughs> What's your name, bartender? <laughs> Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. <laughs> you keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality, all while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> well, depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco ever seen by a DJ with an afro. Wait, I mean, you can barely hear people's drink orders at a place like that, so you can just make anything and do it. <laughs> and then they've got a queue for another half hour before you can complain, so... Has its ups and downs. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. A comfy place full of dog turds have been sat there for two days. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all. She is! She's so cool and collected. There's no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. As she also has this mechanical arm. No idea how she got it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I got carried away. It's fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. i do that. <laughs> It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Oh, sh shall I call her? 
She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. Besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one. Well, I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. Uh, one uh, Brantini, please. Coming right up. She wants a Brant... <laughs> she wants a Brant... Sorry, a Ma... Uh, a Brantini. Yeah, that. <laughs> that doesn't make sense because the Brantini... The Martini is not on your list. <laughs> Six. Four. Five. Six. Three power of Delta. One Carmatrine aged and mixed. Description for that trick. Yes, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey Jill, was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. <laughs> One thing led to another and BAM! Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? I don't want to know what your dreams are, love. The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a model warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but... Oh, that's why I don't call her Julianne. But alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks. Being a model warrior. Oh! Childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams. None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. Somewhere along the way I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not going to forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, uh, a client. Uh, good night, man. Jill, I'm going to leave early. I need to take care of, care of the smell clinging to my body. <laughs> sure. He's already gone. Um, who was he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. Why are we asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job. Or anything like that. I think we idealise the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. So, some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes, life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. Oh, uh, what I mean is don't worry about it too much. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you. Come again. Ah, that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Jill? Where's the girl that was here? <laughs> yeah, I tried not to do the apu. <laughs> uh, Jill cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks and left. So she called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Hmm. Are you worried about her? Uh, wouldn't you be? Uh, I don't know. So, boss, do you feel like calling your boss is too impersonal? Hmm? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. It's just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Jill a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Oh, I'm getting thirsty from all this talking. Here's an extra for helping that girl calm down. <laughs> hey, flawless service bonus. Nice. Is that just not serving somebody a bungled drink? <laughs> oh, there's mistakes. Yeah, that probably won't last. This is the first level anyway. Right. Uh, just gonna... Hang on. There we go. <laughs> My character ever like slowly centers his face towards the camera. 
because I've pressed the reset button. Your membership to Shiny Fingers, yeah, okay. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow bunt. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Danger U. You can now visit JC Elton's. Uh, okay. When are you gonna have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. Alright. Oh god. Yep. Oh, I can save, can't we? Boop. There we go. Room. Uh. Oh, that's. Hey there. Sounds a bit too fantastical. This morning, suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred in the Artemis Will Mall, where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as they. Oh, right, so this is Say. It was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. Just when the would be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them midair. Unidentified local woman. And fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. I wonder if that's anyone we've met so far. 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. The shrimp is so artificial it doesn't trigger my allergies. <laughs> it's not really a surprise. Uh, Lana Smithy again. But a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. From a survey we conducted here at the Eye last month, we asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. 6,000 votes looks like the market for shrimp, shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good because it sucks. Oh, such a tabloid way of writing. It sucks so much I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. Ugh, can't even finish this article. I'm sorry everyone, but I have to puke. Blurg, I hope it's out, put out of sale. Alright, BuzzFeed, chill. I think Alice Rabbit, maybe. This dog. <laughs> Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning, learning at near human speeds. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming? Well, it makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe those purple numbers. I can't. <laughs> I can't read binary. Yeah, totally BuzzFeed referring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's what's on the eye. Music is that for the jukebox, or oh, you can just listen to. Okay, cool. D. Dangerous opinions. Last third, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I says, what on earth is this? Does anyone know of childhood romances that succeeded in real life? You're just lonely. <laughs> now who's the attention whore? <laughs> this thread is closed. <laughs> Mod abuse. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Happy not birthday, the cheeky bastard. We haven't heard of Alice in a while now that you think. Now that I think of it, do you think they're planning something? A terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me. We're going to be attacked and it'll be funny to see those white knights fucks do nothing but drink. <laughs> How do you know if you get hacked by Alice? Lurk more. <laughs> <laughs> she normally leaves a funny ASCII drawing and a message. Something like happy not birthday. Right. Want to know what the binary... Yeah, if you like, Kane, that's fine. So why is Alice even a celebrity? The hell, Alice was the one who leaked all those internal white knight memos. She literally started the riots with the leaks. At least try with your baits. <laughs> Get good. Mickey concert. Alright, so it's like, why would you lie on these fucking normies? Get out. <laughs> well, okay, this is... Uh, Mickey concerts are some magical shit. Alright, the retribution is cool. Yeah, okay. Hover on an item to examine it. Oh, it sounds like incitement to me, okay. <laughs> oh, what does she want? The freaking flower thingy. Hollow plant. That was it. 600? Yeah. Right, in memory of a real plant. Damn. Yep. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. That's up to me. <laughs> Three days to make rent. No. no, something renews, isn't it? I think it's the phone like, plan. Hey, Jill. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. Figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the ca- <sighs> Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? 
I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. <laughs> I like the idea that it's got a voice modulator. That's the only reason I'm doing that. <laughs> Buy that for a dollar. Wait, there's the news. Where was it? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll leave that up. <laughs> anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. <laughs> you sound happy. <laughs> okay, probably doesn't have a voice modulator then. <laughs> well, this helmet is comfortable. And cool. And comfortable. And cool. And really, really cool. Hello! <laughs> Where's he? Cockney. Okay. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was... Ah! <laughs> Don't run. You have work to do. <laughs> I'm not going back to Hong Kong! <laughs> Hong Kong? Chief? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The... what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> she seems at me. <laughs> She's been tense these past couple of days. If she somehow relaxed now, good. You all set? Yep. Alright. Jukebox. I am guessing that Boss is the woman that saved the sewer charge. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Valhalla. Troubling news. Umimoto. Those who dwell in shadows. Nighttime maneuvers. <laughs> I think I already did that joke. A star pierces the dark. The answer lies within. Dawn approaches. Mm. Dusk. Karma dream. dream. Follow the trail. Place of time. I don't know. <laughs> time to mix drinks and change lives. Yeah, who is the rabbit? Oh god, here we go again. Hey, brat! You're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The oh. usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. One big beer coming right up. Texan J. Jonah. Yeah, that, that was what I was going for. <laughs> All my Americans tend to go south of the Donna Dixon line eventually. Oh. There we go. Here you go. Yeah, that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like my first high schooler with a car. Couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. Thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? Ah, there's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Or is that the Mickey thing? Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Eh, easy enough. The fact that the gal had an ice pair of knockers helped. <laughs> yeah, we come a long way in the department of Lilim sex appeal, I tell ya. She was a Lilim then? Yeah, one of those new fancy King Class Chia models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. Wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm. Hey, you, the guy with the John face. <laughs> Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. 
Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, 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 wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? Uh, I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. <laughs> really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damn riots broke out. Seriously, though, they really think the laws that they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. And no matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. Once people start crying segregation like that, you are doomed. This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a, a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. <laughs> hint, 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 hint. <laughs> The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. Everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests, but why, why are you just going into a full exposition dump? <laughs> On second thoughts, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. Why is it 60 bucks for a thing? No, just turn it off. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Oh, wow, I must be making it. Ban user. Spam. Ban user. Spam. Go away. Go bother someone else. Scholarship. That's no mean feat, Brett. Yeah, I know, Kane. Uh, just something you have to deal with these days. There's been some talk. Some people have been basically follow botted. Like, some guy was going around just giving people thousands of views and then, like, taking them away. Like, trying to get them banned. Um, when that just out of some sick, twisted idea of what's fun. I think they've got control over it now. But time will tell. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then, so I was really into this one Chinese idol band. <laughs> it's uh, one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised about how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? Eh, the only translator I had available was some pen pizza face pencil neck. I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. Someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well. I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait. When you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Can a what? <laughs> when people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong, managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Uh, right. <clears throat> Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? <clears throat> sure, on it. Mars Blast? Let's change of base. Bum, da, 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 Mars Blast. Two Karma Train. Six, seven, eleven. This is already big. Okay. Five, six, one Pallet Delta, four Flanag Glide, and two Karma Train. Blended. Wait. Blended, yeah. One of these is enough to leave your face red like the actual planet. Spicy, manly, and strong. 
But he screwed up terribly, but they just went with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. I guess I'll believe your story. All right. Hey, kid. I got wasted yesterday, so there's certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? <laughs> Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. No, it's definitely more of a civil thing. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. <laughs> what did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you do and all that. Oh yeah, uh, or a cult, something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. <laughs> Those investors, fuck them. <laughs> that and racial slurs in German. That's something I should love. He said he didn't like big words, but <laughs> something tells me racial slurs in German are very polysyllabic. <laughs> racial slurs in what? <laughs> Let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. <laughs> you don't say that to a bartender, because you are my client. Excuse me? Your readers! You think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. Oh, okay, yeah, you're exempt, sure. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. Racial slurs in German, that's something I should learn. <laughs> I just like to broaden my horizons, Ken. Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. Oh, okay. Very veiled barb there. Love it. <laughs> but make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. God forbid if they ever catch you said if they ever catch something you said out of context. <laughs> so he's going on about cancel culture and he is a journalist. Alright. <clears throat> that went down the wrong hole. <clears throat> a month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. Oh, because we got a pack of 40 of old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were having picnic parties in the same forests and thought we were writing about them. <laughs> Maybe you were. Just... God, oh, but at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. No, it's, it's the leopard print. That's why they wear it, because it scares off cougars. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. Um, while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. <laughs> Speaking of which, how's your intern doing? <laughs> they relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. <laughs> Pressing X to doubt on that one. <laughs> being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Wait, at the mirror. <laughs> that's probably unintentional, but for a British person, that's that's quite a funny pun. <laughs> Good, because it sucks, yeah. <laughs> and it's not like he's totally wrong, but <sighs> he's a dick. Hearing it from him is kind of... Oh, damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview, and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? Uh, the interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. So sort of quid pro quo then. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. It's a uh, alcohol would help him too. Suplex. That's 
three Karma Train, all on the rocks and mixed. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so we can make it big for him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. On the rocks, mixed. There we go. There you go. Yeah, this works just fine. There, there's two ways of like reading that. Did I do well or average? <laughs> you know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid. Joe, Gene, Guillermo, Hirohito. Can't remember his name. <laughs> that, that's a big scope, though. The kid's always gushing about that idol I interviewed. Can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember it. So, I don't know. I feel like I cock-blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. <laughs> That's something I wouldn't wish on anyone. Not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. <laughs> You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. <laughs> Words to live by. <laughs> what if it's your dad? <laughs> Progressive mindset here, Joe. Good, great stuff. <laughs> did, did I stutter? Oh, right, I get it. <laughs> Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, I mean to be off work, and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that Brad talk no end about her, so... I know, I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column and shit anyways. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. <laughs> I'm out, kid. Thank you, please come again. Well, that would be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, uh, tiring. Hey, Jill. I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. <laughs> Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type White Knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know. <laughs> I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper. What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's another one for you, King. Shit. Don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you going to do? <laughs> I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see. Well, where's her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? Oh, she will. Even if there's no god or buddy, you can always trust boss. Yeah, I hope you're right. Hey, honey. Can you see me? Ah, oh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, they sell me the wrong stuff. God damn it. I'm getting thirsty. <clears throat> Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon. And... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello? Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. <clears throat> um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only things you can see and the other person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where well, you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but 
my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that would make me invisible. And he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? <laughs> you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Have you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any colour or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colours of clothes, walls or tables with it. Or is that going to be something you can purchase later and start messing with the background? Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked though. Almost? To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you moved, you'd be an eerie surroundings coloured blob. And we Lilim see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, might be what I need. Now what was that about talking to yourself again? Uh, hello. What do you want? What? Get out of my TV. <laughs> Nothing important. Uh, what are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Yep. Can do. You look like a small person, so you'll get a small drink. Oh, never mind. This is a big drink. <laughs> Ian. Oh, Bronson. Two. Three. And three Carmatrine. Is that right? Yep. Aged and next. There we go. Oh. <sighs> One piano woman. Yeah, this is a big drink. <laughs> oh, when you're making it in a hurricane and it's got no ice, that's going to be a big drink. Thanks. I love these ones, you know. I keep them for special occasions. Whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. What, do you have them in bottles at home? <laughs> and today? Today I feel good. Well, that's nice. Okay, then. How's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. I can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Oh, right, yes, yeah, the Irish dude. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. Would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. Oh, wait, no, so... I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know, if you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. <laughs> okay, sure. We're, we're back on this kind of topic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Uh, excuse me. Do you pay him to... Finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. I, I need to blow my nose. Yeah, cat. No, they are rough. They're rough and spiky. <laughs> oh, apologies. <laughs> Get a clogged nose from dehydrating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, John. <laughs> Everybody just calling him John. Ah, Dorothy. Did see here last Friday. I was uh, dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? <laughs> I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Jill's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. <laughs> nebulous? You hear so much random stuff it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. 
it's not really that necessary and it's a pain to think about. <laughs> she, she really is the kind to just like ignore everything going on because thinking about it is too much effort. I'm right here, you know. <laughs> Did I tell any lies? No, but <laughs> never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on and now she's stuck. Oh, uh, yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. <laughs> no shit. So the same energy as the boss did going, Did I stutter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... Please. No, come on. <laughs> Bit early for those stories, don't you think? There's no clock in this place. Oh, it's all going to be pixelated, so I'm <laughs> flicking through to see if I can find anything with a clock. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never too early for, uh, yeah. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Ah, oh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. <laughs> Go with amazing stamina, presumably. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Yeah, that's, that's what the Irish dude said earlier, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11am, dress as requested and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. <laughs> she looks so disappointed about it. <laughs> three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. She's a Lily. Yeah. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? <laughs> Change the subject. Moon blast. Six. Four, five, six. One pad of delta. One pad of guide. On the rocks and blended. I can make this one in my sleep if I keep going. There we go. Here. Yeah. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. Tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. It's small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. <laughs> Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? No, every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. Makes it easier to upgrade later. Robot puberty. Okay, sure. Upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in the line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't... Think about it that way. <laughs> Should I think about it at all? <laughs> yeah, don't think about it. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll go through it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Okay. No idea how your voice is supposed to go. <laughs> Good evening, Jill. 
Welcome to... Uh, does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit you'll hear the cling of your shaker. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. <laughs> sure, no worry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Oof, that music cut in at just the wrong time then. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Oh, this voice is hard on my throat. <laughs> nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day and and I'm in a good mood. <laughs> I said that wrong. Didn't I? Well, it's supposed to be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay! Honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Make both before serving. Right. Big sunshine cloud. But two. Optional Karmatrine. Presumably she will take a little bit. That's splendid. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Okay, sure. Stop. We have a sun cloud. Bit of slot two. And a gut punch. Now, presumably you could say, I like the, the more suave voice makes you think of Adam Jensen. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never asked for this. Gut punch. Five Bronson. And I'm just going to do him a small one because he seems like um, he's he's not used to being like given drinks. So it's supposed to mean a punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Yes, well, <laughs> one, two, three. There we go. So now when you hit serve, it's to both of you. Is this your I don't know what I'm doing so have this order? I heard restaurants do that from time to time. You don't seem too upset about it. Because I really like this one. Hey Dorothy, may I ask you something uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated feeds. Is that a card with two R's? <laughs> I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Well then, go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines in the other person after, well... After they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? <clears throat> yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC 72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. Besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. <laughs> Jesus. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Uh, sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. <laughs> Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. <laughs> Thank you. Please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. Uh, she also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. She wants to know if you have to... <laughs> so it raises... Yeah, alright. <laughs> 
<laughs> go go gadget penis. Yes. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go and take my. Chill. I need your girly hands for a second here. Come in. Sorry. Can you take care of him while I help her? Sure. No problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Jill's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast. Give him any other kind of blastering by accident. <laughs> Spooling out. Oh, God. That's horrid. <laughs> Well, this is one he's ordering, so... Oh, it's, it looks like it's big anyway, yeah. One, two, three. Got a Delta, four Flanagide. Two Carmatrine. Blended. <sighs> yeah. Bitter and mind-numbing. Just like war. <laughs> been to war? Life's a war. We fight every day, Jill. So, you haven't been to war. Not to an official one, at least. Yeah, <laughs> I never asked for this. <laughs> There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, <laughs> you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went... Haywire. Haywire, you? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind it if you just said it. Mm. Mm. You uh, wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? That really is a question she's on. Find out about that. I'm going to blow my nose again, so I apologise. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn. I still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. Da -da -da. Saving time. I like these little things. They're cool. <laughs> Look like some of the VTubers, don't they? Is that Botan? Ollie? Uh, don't know, Akayu maybe? <laughs> there we go. Safe. <laughs> when I get to the end of this and then call the stream, I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> Boss should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Oh. I'm just going to change a few. Every day is night. Good for health, bad for... Irene. Okay. You could take a couple of minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Ashes? Whoever owns a helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Uh, sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. 
Uh, uh, right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> no idea how I'm doing your voice, but I know I need to pop my drink up. Okay. Hydrate. <laughs> oh, hey, I made 50 followers with the uh, your uh, with your follow. Okay, you're my 50th. So uh, now I just need to make uh, hit a few more things. And, uh, yeah, I could get Twitch affiliate. So, thank you. She's going to need a breathy voice from the look of it. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Have a drink of water every time you have to make a drink. <laughs> yeah. Are you having fun with the, uh, <laughs> with the emo, with the emojis there, Rose? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sort of. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a bar. A bar. Nice. Nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. <laughs> oh, hey, magpies emotes work as well. Cool. What do you recommend for me? I mean, yeah, what do you normally get? <laughs> Give me something. Get a base spirit. <laughs> a length. I like tea. Oh, Jesus, what? Okay. That's not something I can work with. Oh. What about flavours? Uh, bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Something bitter and girly? Uh, let me see what I can get you. Something like tea or something not so bitter. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, hang on. Bitter sunshine cloud, bitter girly. Yeah. Maybe. It's not really got the tea thing going for it though, does it? No. Oh, I'm at the end. <laughs> I don't think any of them have a tea kind of thing. Hmm. Yeah, I will take a drink. <sighs> no. Hmm. That's a beer. No. Velvety? It's not really a thing for tea. Crevice spike. No. Champagne. Smug assholes. Teeth turn blue. No. Unnecessarily spicy? No. Spicy classic sobering. No. Wait. This no. Good beer. And, uh, oh, okay. N there is nothing relating to tea in this. Okay, so bitter, bitter girly. Okay, we'll try that. Edelhide, two Bronson. Uh, on the rocks and blended. There we go. Try this. Mm. Yep, this will do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. She's a Valkyrie corpse as well. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kiramiki! Oh, right, this is a concert lady. Okay. So, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? Uh, no, you're not getting it. I'm just Kiramiki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira, and you say Mickey, okay? Okay. Kira! M Mickey. <laughs> no, no, no. Put more spirit into it. Kira! Mickey! 
Almost there. Get up! Mickey! Get up, Mickey! Yeah, get up. Yeah, <laughs> Jillian's shouting along as well. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Just Monica. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's it. Are you feeling it? Get up! Mickey! Oh, the assassin's here too now. Get up! Mickey! Get up! Mickey! And don't you ever forget it. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> what the hell am I doing out of here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Uh, right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. <laughs> Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilim that's putting on a concert tonight. I'm, <laughs> I'm one Lilim who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilim you're looking for. What are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Not a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? <laughs> he will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I see. How big is the concert? Oh, we planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast, so we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Cult. Cult leader. Over 100,000 is not many? What exactly is? The proper power dynamic between her and her producer. Yep. <laughs> Hold on, then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. No, please don't. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft, as in alcohol free? No. I mean, soft as in soft. <laughs> soft? Uh, let's see what I can get you. I think soft. What if she means alcohol for it? No, she doesn't. It's... I've seen it. I've seen it. It's one of these. Oh my god. Soft. There you go. What is she like? Bitter but not too bitter. Bitter and soft. Is there a bitter soft? Soft and fluffy. <laughs> uh... Aha! Sunshine Cloud. There we go. Two. Two. Wait, didn't I make her this before? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Frick. There was something else that was soft. There it is. Fluffy Dream. Oh, okay. Fluffy. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Thank you, Kane. <laughs> nope. I almost screwed that up. Uh, I'll give it three karma tree. Why not? Aged and mixed. Can I just fill it to the top with karma tree and just have her like way too drunk to go on stage? <laughs> Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered becoming more theatrical when mixing drinks? No. No, flair bartending is a cancer. <laughs> eh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. Kill me. <laughs> Thank you, Kane. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> I have Prime. I suppose I could do a watch party. I wonder if cocktail's on there. That'd be good. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Yeah. <laughs> those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. Yes, the good show is making the drink properly. <laughs> it can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. 
I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Uh, depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, uh, sure, I guess. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> Ow. I haven't even been outside. Hay fever's getting to me. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, we'll put it up the top, like, lights and stuff. Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Uh, maybe find boss? I wonder if Jill would like it, though. Your name, girl. Oh, uh, for Jill, then. Whoops. I think I tapped out or something. Let me come back. Okay. For Jill, never lose your star from Kiremiki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. <laughs> ones that give me money and ones that stare through my windows. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. Called it. <laughs> What's the difference between them? <laughs> one pays, one doesn't. The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. <laughs> they're also very organised. They've made pretty good soldiers. Cult! Cult leader! <laughs> the others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups, so they're your assassins, then. <laughs> I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Until one of them... <coughs> stalkers are nice when you get used to them. <laughs> I remember one once protected me from being mugged. And there's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. She fails to see the problem. I was just used to being treated like that, I guess. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. <laughs> yeah, take breakfast. Why I watch Bar Times YouTube videos. Yeah, it's good. It's like cocktail ASMR. I love watching professional bartenders with their practice stately motions calmly putting together the drink, even if it used special tricks and techniques, like the ones that use things like liquid nitrogen in the preparation. I know the guy you're talking about, uh, the Japanese bartender. I don't know his name at the moment. But yeah, Bar Times has got a bunch of Japanese uh, bartending styles, and uh, it's different to like Western bartending because they still have the uh, mentor-protege stuff, um, master and apprentice kind of thing. It's stuck around for the bartending, so you can tell who studied under whom uh, with the bartending, depending on the kind of shake that they do and their their movements. Because it is weird, like they have you practice with a uh, with a cobbler for ages just to get like the shake down before they even have you like making a cocktail. It's uh, it's crazy, but but yeah, that YouTube channel's great. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know. <laughs> okay, tone shift. Oh, I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. Yep, same, same. <laughs> no, wait, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay, sure, that works, I guess. Okay, one more drink before I go. Also, the bartender, Hiro Yasu Kayama. Yeah, Kayama-san, that's it, I think. Uh, the one that did liquid nitrogen to 88 Rising. He was, yeah, he was like, um, they, they called him like the world's greatest bartender. And he, he um, like, he made like fresh Campari. I love that video where he's got all the botanicals laid out in little bowls and he's just making them together. Uh, he just makes a Campari sour out of it. It's great. <clears throat> By now, the stage should be all organized so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. Video I pulled up to remind myself. Fresh cover. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. 
if everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked why your love is a drug as an encore, though. Yeah, that sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know. Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Oh, right. This is definitely make the drink correctly. <laughs> uh, yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Uh, let's see what I can find for you. Bitter, but not too bitter, she said. So, bit of drinks. Well, I mean, she was just talking about sunshines, but I already served her a sunshine cloud, so I'm not doing that. Grizzly Temple. Bit of promo bland. Mostly for fans of the movie it was used in. I uh, don't know. From the other stuff, she said, it's not really. Also, something to sober up to alcohol for a good point. That one's got four karma tree. Suplex. Three karma tree. Bit of gut punch. Optional karma tree. Let's go with that. Eight, four, five. One for the guide. Aged. Uh, have I got that right? Yep, mixed. Two, three, four, boom! Yeah, this works. So, how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. Well, I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Mm -hmm. I can see that you enjoy what you do, but... How much of it is about the music? <laughs> Bugger all. <laughs> I'll let you know that before becoming Kinamiki, I was a very accomplished pianist. Until I <laughs> was playing jazz and I beat some guy up. <laughs> I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with a jazz band. Called it! <laughs> I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Oh no, it's me. Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? It, it's her, isn't it? <laughs> you could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol... I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, corgis and lilims, they all have access to my music and I can reach every one of them. Well. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for the dogger. What music do you like, Jill? Whatever's on the jukebox. I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. You don't say that to a singer! <laughs> Why? Uh, I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. Besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that, actually. <laughs> I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it, what, what is that song? Um, I think it's called Close. And it, it's a song about getting an erection on the dance floor of a nightclub. And, yeah, everybody just kind of sings along to it. It's like, really? <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay, then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Uh, sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright! You feel like going to that girls' concert? No, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. Yep. What? Yeah, that's what they called me during the time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me after I crashed into the reds. <laughs> Any reason for being red, specifically? <laughs> that way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. 
<laughs> oh, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Uh, maybe. In any case, Jill's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Yeah, take care. Oh, and boss, don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whew. Flawless service bonus not granted. I mean, two mistakes, apparently. Or was that like a reset? Oh, never mind. Still, made good money. I'm happy with that. Jill is humming Your Love is a Drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. Is this just roleplay thing? I don't know. But... Did that idol really show up or is she like the ghost? Hey. All right. <laughs> I'm going to save it here. Uh, actually, I'm going to forget about the thing if I don't buy it now. So. No, Kirimiki poster. Your Love is a Drug. Thanks. Oh, yeah, you go. There we go. That's it. Idol Hell. A magazine with all things I that Oh. Has a download code for your logos. I thought I'd screwed up there. That was annoying. <laughs> Jill boy, she will surely focus on work. <laughs> Alright. Let's I'll read the thingy. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Neo San Francisco rocked by a powerful earthquake. Millions saved. That's a weird way of saying that. Kimberly Lavalette. Oh, hey, this is Kim that we saw earlier. That struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. What well, what we couldn't do with the money he'll use for that anyways. Right. During a conference call, Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at Neo San Francisco for its rapid response to the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to implement these advancements in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. <laughs> uh... Hiromiki confirmed as the... What? <laughs> Pop star in history. What kind of article is this? Oh, it's Donovan. Okay. Well, he did grant the guy his wish, kind of. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's the best. Like, she had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. Yes. Stalker article. <laughs> yeah. But why is it under Donovan's name? <laughs> She's the top tier everything, and I'm baffled as to how the people still are. They're hoping to be as awesome and hot as... And hot and great. They can't. All right, so like the the uh, small faced guy, <laughs> Roboco. Oh wow, freaking Simpsons references. Only I may make the Simpsons references. Interview: Gloria Light and her quest for a Tino Award. Lana Smithy again. In today's interview, we sit with Tino. As Gloria's, uh, tell us everything. What was the uh, content blocked in your region? Right, I need a VPN. Jesus. What's D got? Alice Rabbit Thread 2. Stop forcing Alice. Do we hate her now? Good. Second Retribution. Birthday is coming. That font. Oh boy. Spooky font. Spooky. Or a nice joke. Yep. Time for despair. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> that feel when I just got out of jail. Hi, Cybercrime. Yeah, I just want to let you know that I'm not Alice, but in fact your mum. <laughs> fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. <laughs> Mickey. Oh, I guess we'll do three first. Anon hates fun. Yeah? Dudes in danger you. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious about how uh, such a meetup would end up. You missed the commentary about that block content. You look pissed. It's a local page. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, right. If you go to the thing. <laughs> like I'd want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, uh... <laughs> no, <laughs> no shit posting allowed. Did that one Anon left? I think so. I never left. I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. <laughs> it's like one of my Japanese animes. Really? Ego Raptor references? How was your first kiss? I tripped into a guy at her like hell. <laughs> so yeah, when Miki ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. K -k kiss Just trying to imagine how magical that moment with the fires and the epic guitar sound. Okay. <laughs> Can we see this one? Yeah. Right, so if you go to AE, yeah, you look at the local page. Rude. Is there a VPN in the shop? <laughs> no, okay. You can now browse Kirimiki's blog. Alright, fine.
Thanks, she's uh, so she'll actually come again. That's nice. Oh, did we get a shout out? I said I'm excited. Second date. In this... Oh no, just that she'll come to the city again. <laughs> Dome concert by bodyguards. Does she mean the fan club? Performing rather large because. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you. <laughs> what I do to relax. So that's what she meant by a tea-like drink. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime. You name any tasty and natural combination and I'll be all over it. Okay, sure. Yeah. You can have a Wellerman. Sugar and tea and rum. Yeah. All right, I'm going to save this and call it a night, I think. This has been fun, though. Oh, this is as far as I got when I was just, like, messing around, so. <laughs> Cracking. Well, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, well, Wellerman sounds delicious. Um, Greg from How to Drink. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. Um, I don't tend to watch much of it because there's a lot of talk uh, around sort of the drinks, and I like just to see the drinks getting made. But he does, he does one. Someone suggested he make, like, a sea shanty. Uh, episode so he did like the period accurate grog um, obviously with the water not being severely alginated though but he tries to make a cocktail called the Wellerman uh, with like uh, I think it was matcha tea and rum and sugar syrup and uh, I think he did um, a skull and crossbones uh, in bitters on the top so it looked really good it's very gram worthy kind of cocktail you know uh, so yeah, I'm gonna clock off. I think. Uh, thanks everyone for joining, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna play a, a bit more of this, and um, yeah, some other like pixel art games. I've got a few lined up. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.